Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, March 26, 2017, and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have a couple of devotionals for you today, but first, I'd like to say the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. This is called um, Justice is Coming. And the reading is, and the commentary is from Proverbs 29.4. The king gives stability to the land by justice. As you go about your daily routine, do you sometimes feel as though the world is winning? From the irritations and conflicts of your personal circumstances to bad news in your community and throughout the world, it's easy to become discouraged and focused on the negative. Likewise, the victory over sin and death that Christ won on the cross can seem remote from daily application. Why would God allow such chaos and such evil people to triumph? However, never lose sight of this truth. Quotes, whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is the one who overcomes the world? but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God." Unquote. And that's from John, 1 John 5, 4 and 5. This is the blessing of wisdom, the assurance that you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. Does this mean that you will feel successful in every encounter and conflict? No. Sometimes it may feel as if evil is prevailing. God may allow you to go through times when his truth working within you is obscured to another's eyes. However, the Lord is uh, the Lord God is just and will work everything out in his time. One day everyone quotes will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead, unquote, and that's from 1 Peter 4:5. Your job is to trust him for the outcome. Ultimately, the victory is yours because of the God who loves you. In the meantime, however, cling to this promise. Quote, commit everything you do to the Lord and trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like nobody, like the, like the noonday sun. Unquote. Certainly, he will fight for you as you trust him. And a prayer we could say is, Lord, you are the ultimate judge and you will set everything right in your time. Thank you for leading me to victory. Amen. And this next one is called Go Deeper. And um, the commentary and the, the quote is from Proverbs 30, uh, verse 3. Neither have I learned wisdom, nor do I have the knowledge of the Holy One. The Christian life has the potential of being a profoundly satisfying and joyful existence. Unfortunately, many of God's people never experience all that he has for them. Why? Because they never take the time to learn how to walk with the one who knows and loves them the best. They know something about the Lord, but they never develop a personal relationship with the Savior or experience the full fulfillment that comes from knowing him on an intimate level. This lack of closeness halts spiritual growth because it is an essential requirement for becoming all we were created to be. If we don't know God, we can never become more like him. For many, developing this intimate relationship with the Lord is a challenge because of the control we're called to relinquish. See? In other words, you have to give something up, and it's something earthly and worldly. 
and people don't want to let go of it whether it's their sin or control or whatever this is what keeps people from the Lord we must not only make the choice to seek the Father and love him above all else but we also must come to the point where we desire his love more than anything else this world can offer True intimacy begins with that choice, and it only grows as we surrender our will to Him. This is because walking with the Lord means being in tune with His heart and placing His priorities above our own. Our world is crying out for meaning and fulfillment, and far too often people are looking for this in all the wrong places. But Jesus is the only one who can truly satisfy the deepest longing of your heart. So your journey to life at its very best requires an act of your will to know, trust, and obey the Lord. Don't miss out. The Father is waiting to lead you along the most wonderful path, one you will never regret traveling. So submit to him and experience all he has for you. And a prayer we can say is, Lord, break down whatever is standing between me, knowing you as profoundly and as possible and, and walking in your will. I submit myself to you wholeheartedly. Amen. And yeah, um, there, are, there are things that we will let go of, and then there are certain things that are more difficult to let go of. And this is... This is um, the overcoming that happens in your walk with the Lord. You're a work in progress. Uh, not everything is going to just completely wash out right away. Some of it will, but some of it, uh, God may use it to um, polish you and to purify you and to show you more about yourself. Um, you know, his ways are perfect. And but he's a good father. He's the best. The Holy Spirit is gentle and kind. Um, you know, and Jesus is righteous and loving. But they're not pushovers, people. Okay. You can't reinterpret who Jesus is and who the Father in heaven is. You can't reinterpret them and just subtract the wrath and just take the love because um there's a good and a bad, and there's a left and a right, and there's an up and a down. And that's just the way things are made here on the earth. There's, there's, the, there's opposites for everything. And um, the Father has rules, and um, he will uphold his rules. He can't, he can't deny his own rules. That's why he sent Jesus to, to satisfy his wrath. And Jesus paid the price for us so that we could find our way back and reconcile to the Father. See, because we're all, we all fall short. We're all sinners here. As long as we're in the flesh, uh, the flesh is impure and it corrupt. And, um, you know, by accepting Jesus, he covers us with his glory. It's like when he takes us by the hand to walk, walk us up to the front and, and stand before the Father. That beautiful white glory that's around him covers us, you know, because heaven is a holy place. And we can't bring sin into that place. You can't. You will not see. You will not see heaven and stand there without accepting Jesus Christ. Okay? That's the payment for you to get into heaven. And uh, once you realize that, um, if you care about your eternal life more than you care about what's here, which is temporary, everything here is going to pass away. And, um, you know, choose everlasting life over this temporary system that we're living in. Because there's much more greater, greater things beyond here. This is just a test. It's a test of your faith, our life. 6,000 years long, we're getting to the end of that. You can see it. You can see what's happening in the world. This is, this is judgment coming. It's, it's the uh, uh, labor pains that we're seeing, all this destruction. 
And, and the Father says in the Bible, you know, when judgment falls this time, it'll be nothing like the world has ever seen before. You don't want to be here. So ask the Lord to give you some humility and come to him. Ask him to forgive you and change your life. Accept what he did. Confess it with your mouth and you'll just be transformed. I tell you this because I love you, not because I want to punish you for what you're doing. I want to wake you up. We've all done things, all of us. Nobody's better than anybody else. Okay? So, we all need to do this if we all want to. So, if I needed to do it, and a murderer needs to do it, we all need to do it in order to get there. So, don't kill the messenger. Take the message the way it's being given in love. Okay, the truth these days when it's spoken is harsh because it's been covered over with political correctness. Today's world is all about behavior. Okay, nothing about truth and what's right or what's wrong. It's all about behavior. Your behavior has, if your behavior is okay, then your sin is covered. That's what this world is. But not true. Could it be furthest from the truth? And I'm here to tell you that. So on that note, I'll say have a beautiful day in the Lord. I love you. I really do. And Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. He died for you. Take the gift. Have a beautiful day.